All do-it-yourselfers want a bigger ROI from what they've been putting out. And this requires a bit of marketing to two different markets, the inside market and the outside market. The problem is many artists don't understand these two markets, the inside and the outside market, and they are pretty much scared of one of these markets that I'm gonna unveil to you. Which is why you may see artists begin to run out of gas if they're just focusing on social media. And here's the thing, you shouldn't be getting tired if you already have a plan in place. So I'm gonna show you these two markets then when I show it to you, I want to see somebody put this thing together. Let's talk about it coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham. Let's hop right in. So let's talk about the market that everyone knows very well. And this is called the outside market. I'm coining it that. The outside market is all the cold viewers on social media who will follow and may not make it to Spotify to follow you there. It requires you to constantly pump out content to keep your name going strictly for the algorithm so the people can sample you and decide if they want more. That's what it's for. However, all it is is a free sample table at Costco or Sam's Club and we need to get people to spend money with us. All these people are doing is just clicking, liking, maybe they follow, but they don't really do anything, right? And the outside market gets all the attention, naturally, as you're building. Putting out content in many cases takes precedent over everything. And when you're trying to get on, you need to put forth all the muscle you have to get people to hear you. However, once people like what you're doing, they'll want more from you. You'll begin to realize social media isn't enough for them, and you're going to have to take care of a new emerging market, one that is not so keen to be handled well by artists. Now, the inside market, hear me out. New and hot contacts and leads, these are people coming in and the super fans who've been there for a while, right? The inside market is where all of your high earning revenue comes from. I don't care what you're looking for, it is not on the outside, it's on the inside. You can sell everything you've been wanting to sell in the market that you created for yourself, from the email subscribers and the follower audience that you have. Using these numbers to figure out how much you can actually sell to your base is a lot easier than going after a cold market at the mercy of the algorithms. It just is what it is. So now with these people on the inside, you can now have marketing plans that just strictly cater to them, announcements that just strictly cater to them. You don't even have to worry about the people on social media because they're just still checking you out and eating the free samples. These people on the inside are waiting to get into your restaurant for the full meal. And you can now give them the menu and then you can just sell the like the, you know how people like the, like the TGI Friday stuff is in the freezer at the grocery store. They can have the stuff in the freezer at the grocery store while the other people can be sitting down at the restaurant getting the real thing. That's what it is, okay? Now, the inside market is often forgotten. And this is true. Because in many cases, the inside market is never looked after because the artist is so concerned with getting new fans that they never take the time to nourish the fans that are already there, that have been with them as they were building. So when the outside market sees you engaging with your fans, they will want to enter your party as well because they see how much fun your fans are having over at your club. And the, the club could start on social media. It could. But you have to understand that you need to connect with these people that are there. So this raises the hype even more and it can get crazy as well as get you crazy paid. Like imagine if you have a forever VIP list that costs $10,000 a month so people can always be in your VIP wherever you are because you curate some of the flyest experiences for your fans. Like how dope would that be to have a guaranteed $10,000 a month from a trust fund baby? Like that would be amazing, right? And then they will always get access to every experience that you have with the red carpet rolled out. Now that's not to say that this, people, this person becomes part of your entourage, no. But it's just saying that they get to be a part of every VIP experience, you know what I'm saying? That averages anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks at a time. So, you know what I mean? As you begin to grow though, this wouldn't be out of the, out of the box, you know what I mean? So now, okay, well, how do I keep the content flowing for new people? Well, you'll keep the same consistency, but then you begin to weave in some FOMO content so people will begin to wish that they were a part of your fan base. And when you start to see this, fans will see that you are, for them, having a great experience and they'll desire to be there with you, okay? Do you think $10,000 a month is excessive? Well, no, because believe it or not, some people won't take the time of day to pay you $100, but they will pay you $1,000 or $10,000 because it seems more valuable to them and feeds their ego. Now, there are levels to this game but there are always rich folks out there who are dying for an experience. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, 
I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying that this is something that goes on, but I bet somebody has already done this before. Anyway, provide experiences, products, and content that you would not provide to the general public or warm fans. And notice I didn't say shows, right? But it could be an exclusive, intimate show that only the people who are in that fan base in that city get to see that exclusive show. You can market however you want once you have the contacts, is what I'm saying. You can market however you want once you had a contacts. If you don't have a contacts in your possession, what's the point? So in order to make all this happen, you're going to need the business to make it happen for you. And we got to build it upon that, right? This money just doesn't come from anywhere. So, it, so if you're an artist, a producer, a singer, a songwriter, or a new music exec who wants to start your record or publishing company in 60 days or less without searching all over the internet for the how-tos, then I got you covered. How we'll do it is we'll start with a strong LLC foundation that will be utilized to take in all the cash flow from these opportunities we talked about today and also get some funding to help you get to some of the opportunities we talked about today. You'll learn how to play the game via contract and on top of that, you'll be able to collect your international and domestic record and publishing royalties without the middleman taking 15%. All the stuff you see right now. All the stuff you see right here down below is included, all right? But if this is your first time watching the channel, please grab the free stuff below. 10 major steps to increase your record labels profits. A free split sheet is included with the download. Now, here's what I wanna get to. Marketing to the inside increases your revenue by 10X on average, allows you to fund your career without a label, and it also allows you to call your own shots, okay? But marketing to the outside puts you at the mercy of the algorithms, making you a slave to the tech giants and ultimately requiring you to work 10 times harder. We don't want to do that, okay? Because it takes a lot to actually build up the momentum and the know-how to actually work with the algorithm instead of the having the algorithm work on you. So we want to be here marketing to our own contacts that we have and that we've accumulated from the algorithm. All right, everybody, so if you were struggling with mastering marketing, you can clearly see that there are two sides to it and you can't stop on one side. You gotta get into that inside market to really get the cash that you wanna see from your career, okay? So, Music Money Makers, if you make music, you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com, jump into the 60-day record label course, book a call there, download the free stuff below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.